the top of bridge 52. We'll continue on. There's a lock not too far in the distance. and have a look at Forest Top Lock. Here's what looks like a very small winding hole. There's a bridge not too far down here, which carries Old London Road. Forest mid top lock, lock number 55. There's a small selection of boats at the top. Another selection here, uh, private moorings. Such a peaceful location. Now you'd have seen the cottage we've just passed now. I previously talked about putting the lottery numbers back on again. I'd probably need to put them on again because that cottage was just as idyllic. bottom lock, that's number 56. You may have noticed I've not been speaking as much lately because the wind has just been atrocious the last few miles, the last hour has been awful. Although some of you might say that's a blessing. 
At least you got some nice music instead. I'd say only about 45, 60 minutes from Bretford now. Approaching Forest Bottom Lot. This is lot number 57. Again, it's in the middle of the nowhere. Very similar to the previous lot, 56. to Sutton Lane, if we were to turn left and follow the road, we'd end up heading towards Lown. And if we were to turn right and follow the road, we'd end up in Ordzel. We've also found a, another boat in a nice, tranquil mooring. Now coming up to bridge number 54. Not far from Retford now, probably about 35, 40 minutes. So it's just outside of Retford now. Probably about 20 minutes walk. Got ourselves some well kept visit some more 48 hours still very quiet considering on the outskirts of a reasonably busy town nice bit of towpath as well it's very dry the workshop end was a bit soggy not muddy but just a bit soggy but it's very dry at this end obviously the rain from yesterday probably didn't materialise over this way. This is Bridge 55, above us is Babworth Road. And as we come out the other side, we're coming up to the next lock. A good story about Retford. In the summer of 1978 there was an incident where they were dredging a busy stretch of the canal near Retford. There's tons of mud being pulled out and one of the boats caught hold of a chain. 
And as they kept pulling on this chain, they pulled it and pulled it, and eventually it lifted, and a great big lump of wood came out. And they thought nothing of it, just carried on with the day. And the next day, there was a mile and a half stretch. The canal was empty. It turned out that Retford has its own plug and plug hole at the bottom of the canal. Well, that's almost it for today. We'll leave you with a few images. Hope you've enjoyed it. There will be another part of this video to come between Chesterfield and Worksop and also the River Trent and back to Retford. Bye bye for now.